I've just programmed this compass using a micro bit and a glow bit rainbow. You can see that the LED always wants to point this way. I'm going to show you how to use MicroPython to extract a compass heading out of the micro bit and how to display which way north is on your rainbow. Let's get started. We'll start by wiring our rainbow to our micro bit. I'll use black for ground, ground on the micro bit, ground on the rainbow, red for three volts, and yellow for data. That's pin zero on the micro bit and data on the rainbow. Connect your micro bit to your computer with a USB lead. And with your browser, navigate to python.microbit.org. And this is our MicroPython programming environment. This looks like the default project. I'm not going to need any of this code. If you followed along with any of the other projects in this series, I've just done the same housekeeping as usual. I've imported NeoPixel because rainbows work with the NeoPixel library. And I've declared my rainbow as being connected to pin zero and having 13 LEDs. And because it's a little bit complicated to write out bit by bit, I've just copied and pasted this function. We'll come back to it, but for now, all you need to know about this convert function is that we'll use it to convert from one range of numbers to another range. Let's first get familiar with the micro bit compass. I'm just going to stream out the compass heading to the console. I can say heading equals compass dot heading. And for now I'll print, I'll convert, the heading is a number, I'll convert it to a string for now and just print that out. We also need a short delay. Sleep for 100 milliseconds. Connect to your micro bit and flash. So once your micro bit is flashed, you'll have a message that requires you to calibrate your micro bit by tilting it in every direction. And you might see that the little grid of LEDs is uh, being filled as I tilt it around. So the idea is to tilt it so that every LED turns on. Now if I open the serial console, this is the heading in degrees that my micro bit is pointing. So as I rotate my micro bit closer and closer to magnetic north, that number goes smaller and smaller until I cross over. And now it's up at around 350, 360 degrees. So we go from zero to 360 degrees with the heading. So here's our compass. And here's north with zero degrees and 359 degrees. That's east, that's west. So this is a little bit tricky to work with where we, where our values quickly transition from near zero to near 360 degrees. There's a big discontinuity in those numbers. What I'm going to do is convert this part of the compass to go from negative 90 degrees, I'll have zero at north as usual, and then positive 90 degrees. Once we have that, this is a nice continuous line of values, and I can just assign values to the LEDs on the rainbow. I'll show you how that works. All we need to do is to check if heading is greater than 180. If that's the case, then we're in the left hand side or the, the west side of the compass. And we just need to set heading is heading minus 360. I've just flashed that updated code. And now you'll see as I rotate my micro bit more towards north, the numbers get smaller and smaller. But this time they cross through zero and start to become negative. So we've taken that discontinuity where the numbers go from 359 all the way down to zero, and we've got a nice passing through zero, nice and continuous. We're on the home stretch, we have nice continuous compass values. Now we just need to map that negative 90 through to 90 degrees as LED numbers on our rainbow. That's where this convert function comes in. So index, which will be the LED number that we want to illuminate. We're going to set that to the result of our conversion. Convert heading from 90 degrees down to negative 90 degrees. 
and we want to convert that to 0 to 12. That's our LED number. So the, these arguments are the range that we're converting from, and these are the two. And then because this will return a decimal point number, we have to round it to the nearest whole number. We can't pass in LED number 1.5, we have to pass in a whole number for the LED that we want to eliminate. And then we just eliminate that LED. Rainbow index, and I'll just make it red. And rainbow.show. In our help message as well, we can also add a space and add the index of LED that we're going to light up, just for some debugging help. I almost forgot it helps to clear the strip at the start of every loop. That way we're only illuminating one LED. And I'll use this plastic so you can see the LED a little easier. And there you go, you can see that as I hold my micro bit to the rainbow and turn them both together, that LED will always point over that way. If I turn it too far in the other direction, of course it just hits the end and stops moving. But if I take it past around to this way, now it's telling me that I need to keep turning right to get to north. So it'll, it'll always show me the direction of north, or if I'm t rotated too far away, it'll show me the, the closest side. There you go, that is an electronic compass. Well, thanks for joining me on this little Globit rainbow programming adventure. If you make anything cool with this project or any others, I'd love to see them on the Core Electronics forums. And until next time, happy coding. <laughs>